everyone. In the previous session, we define a special function that is beta and gamma functions and also we derive the relation between beta and gamma function that is beta of m comma n is gamma n into gamma m by gamma m plus n right. So now in this session or in today's session we are going to derive or we are going to prove the one more result that is a duplication formula. So let me prove the result prove that root pi into gamma 2m is root to the power of 2m minus 1 into gamma m into gamma m plus 1 by 2. So that is in terms of gamma and also we have in terms of beta that is beta m comma 1 by 2 is 2 to the power of 2m minus 1 into beta m comma m. So we are going to prove both beta and gamma in terms of beta and gamma at a time that is we know the relation between beta and gamma that we have proved in the previous class. So using that relation I can obtain at a time both the results right. So how to prove that? So the proof is the proof is we know that beta m comma n in terms of trigonometric function. So I think we remember with a beta definition in terms of trigonometric fu function that is 2 times integral of sin theta to the power of 2m minus 1 into cos theta to the power of 2n minus 1 into d theta between the limit 0 to pi by 2. Theta varies from 0 to pi by 2. And we know that beta m comma n is nothing but gamma m into gamma n divided by gamma m plus n. So I call it as equation 1. Okay. Now what we need? So if I consider the beta function here, what we have to prove that beta of m comma 1 by 2 is something we have right. So how to replace in place of n? we have 1 by 2. So substitute or put n equal to 1 by 2 to get that result. So I substitute or put n equal to 1 by 2 in equation 1. So wherever we have n replace that by 1 by 2. So that we have beta m comma 1 by 2 is 2 times integral of sin theta to the power of 2m minus 1 into cos theta to the power of 2 into 1 by 2 reduces to 1 so that 1 minus 1 will be 0. So cos theta to the power of 0 into d theta is gamma m into gamma 1 by 2 by gamma m plus 1 by 2. So if I replace n by 1 by 2 then I am getting this results also gamma m plus 1 by 2 right. So now simplify this that is beta m comma 1 by 2 is 2 times so of course the limit is 0 to pi by 2 integral 0 to pi by 2 cos theta to the power of 0 will be 1 so that we remains with sin theta to the power of 2m minus 1 d theta is nothing but gamma m into and we know the value for gamma half yes what we prove that gamma half gamma half is root pi divided by gamma m plus 1 by so I call this equation as equation 2. I call it as equation 2. Okay. Now to get the next part, I am going to replace n by m in 1. If I replace n by m in equation 1, I will get beta m comma m. So that put n equal to m in equation 1. So that beta m comma m is 2 times integral 0 to pi by 2 sin theta to the power of 2m minus 1 into cos theta whole to the power of n should be replaced by m so that 2m minus 1 d theta is nothing but here this m should be replaced by m gamma m into gamma m divided by gamma m plus m is nothing but 2m.
okay so now here sin theta and cos theta both have a common power right so i re i can rewrite this as sin 2 theta if i multiply and divide by 2 times so or 2 to the power of 2m minus 1 in numerator and also if i divide by 2 times so for 2 to the power of 2m minus 1 so i next step is beta m comma m is equal to 2 times integral 0 to pi by 2 so i'll write that as sin theta to the power of 2m sin 2 theta to the power of 2m minus 1 whole divide by 2 to the power of 2m minus 1 d theta is gamma m into gamma m gamma m whole square divide by gamma 2m now i'll take out that 2 power 2m minus 1 common and also I rewrite or I substitute for 2 theta uh, by another variable so that uh, beta m comma m is 2 by 2 to the power of 2m minus 1 integral. So I substitute here put 2 theta is equal to pi so that 2 times of d theta is d pi if theta is equal to 0 pi is also 0 if theta is pi by 2 pi is pi right so replace that so if our pi varies from 0 to pi sin pi 2 theta is replaced by pi whole to the power of 2m minus 1 into d theta is nothing but 2 times of for d pi so d theta is d pi by 2 and this part remains as it is gamma m whole square by gamma 2m okay so if i simplify with the next step we have beta m comma m is 1 by 2 to the power of 2m minus 1 since this function sin t sin pi whole power 2m minus 1 is an even function using the standard definite integral properties i can rewrite this as 2 times of integral sin pi d pi bit whole to the power of 2m minus 1 between the limit 0 to pi by 2 whenever this function is even otherwise it will be 0 and the RHS or the gamma function remains as it is gamma m whole square by gamma 2m so now to get the required result we have here beta m comma m has a with the multiple 2 power 2m minus 1 so in this step if i multiply uh, 2 to the power of 2m minus 1 to the whole equation then i will get here 2 power 2m minus 1 into beta m comma m and 2 times of the trigonometric integral of sin pi and 2 times uh, 2 to the power of 2m minus 1 into gamma m whole square by gamma 2m so let me multiply the 2 power 2m minus 1 to the whole equation so that we have this equal to 2 times of sin theta pi whole power 2m minus 1 into d phi between the limit 0 to pi by 2 is gamma r 2 to the power of 2m minus 1 into gamma m whole square divide by gamma 2m. Now equating corresponding beta and gamma function so if i call this as equation 3 beta and gamma function so equating corresponding beta and gamma function from equation 2 and 3 we have so if i equate the corresponding beta we have beta so how to equate yes here this is equation 2 beta m comma 1 by 2 that is the first part or LHS part of the equation 2 m comma 1 by 2 as here we have to equate this 2 to the power of 2m minus 1 into beta m comma m of course this is our required result right and the second term remains same that is 2 times integral of sin pi 2 power whole power 2m minus 1 d pi we have there between the limit 0 to pi by 2 instead of pi here we have theta that is all and here the gamma relation is this gamma m into root pi by gamma m plus 1 by 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 2m minus 1 into gamma m whole square whole divide by gamma 
2 m. So, I can cancel gamma m one time. So, that the remaining or the required result will be root pi into gamma 2 m is 2 to the power of 2 m minus 1 into gamma m into gamma m plus 1 by 2 which is the required gamma relation. So, these two standard results are known as a duplication formula. Now, so using a duplication formula in terms of gamma, we can get the one more standard result and the standard result is this. So, I can make it as a note that is we know that or we have root pi into gamma 2m is 2 to the power of 2m minus 1 into gamma m into gamma m plus 1 by 2, right. So, in this if I substitute m equal to 1 by 4, we have one more standard uh, gamma relation that is root pi into gamma 2 into 1 by 4 is nothing but 1 by 2 is 2 to the power of if I replace m by 1 by 2, so that 1 by 2 minus 1 is nothing but minus 1 by 2 into gamma 1 by 4 into gamma 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 is nothing but 3 by 4. So, we know gamma half result that is root pi. So, we have root pi into root pi is 1 by root 2 into gamma 1 by 4 into gamma 3 by 4. Therefore, we have the standard result like this. Whenever we have gamma 1 by 4 into gamma 3 by 4, I can write this as root 2 into this value is get gross multiplied here and root pi into root pi is pi. So, whenever we have a standard result like gamma 1 by 4 into gamma 3 by 4 that can be replaced by pi into root 2. So, we should know all these formulas to solve the problems. Okay. Let me solve the problems the on beta and gamma now. So, the first problem show that integral of log 1 by y whole to the power of n minus 1 dy is gamma n where the limit is between 0 to 1. So, to prove the result, so of course, I have to show that it is equal to a gamma n. So, we should know what is the definition of gamma. So, gamma n is given by integral of e power minus x into x power n minus 1 dx between the limit 0 to infinity. But here we have between 0 to 1 and we do not have e power x function, right? So, replace your log, consider LHS and substitute for log function that is log 1 by y whole power n minus 1 into dy. So, I put or substitute log 1 by y equal to some other variable t. So, we know that here we have base e, right? So, 1 by y equal to e power t or what is y? y is 1 by e power t nothing but e power minus t. Now, get dy. dy is equal to e power minus t into minus 1 into dt, right? So, we change log y in terms of t and dy in terms of e power t. Now, we should change what is the limit also. So, if I substitute here, if y equal to 0, the lower limit, 1 by 0 will be infinity. So, log infinity is nothing but infinity and the upper limit is uh, 1. If I put y equal to 1, 1 by 1 is 1. So, that log 1 is 0. Now, replace all your y variable in terms of t and also change the limit. So, that we have integral infinity to 0 log 1 by y is t to the power of n minus 1 into dy is minus uh, dt into e power minus t. And now, I remove this minus sign so that I can interchange the limits of integrals. So, that we have integral 0 to infinity e power minus t into t power n minus 1 dt which is our standard definition of gamma function, right? So, I can replace by gamma again now. So, we got our required result, okay? Now, the second problem show that integral of d theta by root sin theta 
between the limit 0 to pi by 2 into integral of root sin theta d theta between the limit 0 to pi by 2 is pi. So, I am not separating first as a beta and then with a gamma function. I mix with both the problems so, so that you will be clear with the beta and uh, gamma functions formulas, right? So, now whenever we have a trigonometric function, of course, have to write that in terms of beta, okay? So, consider the LHS part so that integral d theta by root sin theta into integral of root sin theta d theta between the limit 0 to pi by 2, 0 to pi by 2. So, I will rewrite that that is integral 0 to pi by 2 sin theta to the power of minus 1 by 2 d theta into integral of sin theta to the power of 1 by 2 into d theta between the limit 0 to 1 by 2. So, as we listed the standard formulas before going to solve the problems, I show you the standard results right. So, in that we have this formula that is sin theta to the power of p into cos theta to the power of q into d theta is yes beta times p plus 1 by 2 comma q plus 1 by 2 right. So, using that here I can compare the standard results so that p in place of p we have minus 1 by 2 and q is 0 here and here in the second one p is 1 by 2 and q is 0 right. Therefore, we have of course, I should have a 2 multiple if I do not have 2 then we have to divide by 2 1 by 2 times of beta p plus uh, q that is p plus 1 p value minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 comma q value 0 plus 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 times of beta 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 comma 0 plus 1 by 2. Now simplify this so that 1 by 2 into beta 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 plus 1 will be 1 by 2 by 2 will be 1 by 4 comma 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 times of beta 1 by 2 plus 1 will be 3 by 2 by 2 will be 3 by 4 comma 1 by 2. Now apply the relation between beta and gamma functions that means I have to get a pi value right. So, 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 I can make it as 1 by 4. Now, we know the relation between beta and gamma that is beta m comma n is yes gamma m into gamma n by gamma m plus n right using that I can rewrite this as gamma 1 by 4 into gamma 1 by 2 by gamma 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 into here gamma 3 by 4 into gamma 1 by 2 by gamma 3 by 4 plus 1 by 2. Now simplify this that is 1 by 4 into gamma 1 by 2 gamma 1 by 2 that is gamma half is root pi so, and uh, the multiple of these two gamma 1 by 4 into gamma 3 by 4 we have. So, we have gamma 1 by 4 gamma 3 by 4 into root pi into root pi root pi whole square whole divide by this is 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 so that we have 3 by 4 so gamma 3 by 4 into and this part so again 4 LCM 3 plus 2 by 4 so that is gamma 5 by 4 so here I can cancel 3 by 4 so that we remains with LHS equal to 1 by 4 that is gamma 1 by 4 and also of course we have a multiple 1 by 4 into gamma 1 by 4 into root pi whole square nothing but pi by gamma 5 by 4. So, gamma 5 by 4 we note down the formula right that is whenever we have gamma n and we can use that formula that is n minus 1 into gamma n minus 1. So, 5 by 4 minus 1. 1 by 4. So, 1 by 4 into gamma 1 by 4. So, gamma 1 by 4 get cancelled, 4 get cancelled. We have LHS equal to pi, nothing but the required RHS. So, this is our required result. 
So the next problem is evaluate integral x power 3 by 2 into e power minus x dx between the limit 0 to infinity. So compare the standard definition or the given problem with the standard gamma function definition. So we know gamma n is equal to integral of e power minus x into x power n minus 1 dx between the limit 0 to infinity. So if I compare with that then given in place of n minus 1 we have 3 by 2. So that what is your n? 3 by 2 plus 1 is nothing but 5 by 2. Therefore, integral of x power 3 by 2 or I will write e power minus x into x power 3 by 2 dx between the limit 0 to infinity is gamma n is nothing but gamma 5 by 2. Gamma 5 by 2 can be simplified further. So, we know the standard formula right using that I can write 5 by 2 minus 1 that will be 3 by 2. 3 by 2 minus 1 will be 1 by 2 into gamma 1 by 2. Now, it is nothing but 3 times of gamma, yes gamma half is root pi, 3 pi by 4. That is the required result of the given problem. Now, let us solve the next problem. Evaluate integral of x into log x whole to the power of 4 dx between the limit 0 to 1. So, to compare with the definition of uh, beta, I can't compare with that because if I consider the limit between 0 to 1, so I have to compare with beta, no. So, we have a log function means that will be a gamma function because I can replace that log in terms of another variable so that this x reduces to e power some function what I consider that variable, right. So, whenever you have a log in place of an integrand or in a place of a function, then that should be your gamma function that means that reduces to gamma form. So, let me solve the given problem. The solution is, so I am going to substitute log x equal to t, put log x equal to t so that we know that we have base e. So, e power t is equal to or x equal to e to the power of t. So, that dx equal to e power t into dt, right. But look at here, we have a standard formula of gamma that is we should have e power minus x or minus t. So, here we have only log x, right. So, and consider your log x as minus t. So, that we will get e power minus t. So, that e power minus t derivative minus e power minus t dt. Otherwise, we can't compare with the gamma function. So, if you miss with that, so remember to consider that as minus t because this definition of gamma is e power minus t. Okay. And change with the limit. If x is 0, t is also log 0 infinity. If x is equal to 1, then t equal to log 1 is 0. Now, replace your x terms in terms of t that is integral 0 to 1 x into log x whole to the power of 4 is into d x equal to integral infinity to 0 x is given by e power minus t into log x is given by t whole power 4 into minus e power minus t dt. Right? Now simplify this. So we have, so if I remove that minus sign, I can interchange the limit, right? So it is nothing but integral 0 to infinity e to the power of minus 4t into e power minus t into t power 4 dt. So we have integral 0 to infinity e power minus 5t into t power 4 dt. Now, can we compare with the standard definition of gamma now? No, we cannot compare with the standard definition of gamma because here we have e power phi t. We know that by the definition of gamma, the x coefficient should be 1, right? Minus 1 we should have, but here we have phi. 
so i can't substitute or i can't write this as a t so replace or substitute your phi t by some other variable put phi times of t equal to z don't consider the negative sign now okay so that phi times of dt is dz or dt is dz by phi now if uh, t equal to 0 z is 0 if t is infinity z is also infinity so replace t in terms of z integral 0 to infinity e power minus z into t is given by z by phi whole to the power of 4 into dt is dz by phi or it is nothing but 1 by phi whole power 4 into 1 by phi is 1 by phi power phi integral 0 to infinity e power minus z into z power 4 dz yes so we know the standard gamma result one more formula that is gamma n plus 1 is nothing but n factorial right so we have a phi so that should be 4 factorial by phi to the power of phi is the required result right so now next problem evaluate integral root cot t cot theta d theta between the limit 0 to pi by 2. So of course whenever as I told you in the previous problem whenever you have a log that should be a gamma function. Similarly whenever you have a trigonometry function that will reduce to a beta function in terms of trigonometric that we have a standard result right. So consider the given problem that is integral 0 to pi by 2 root cot theta d theta. I can rewrite the cot in terms of sin and cos that is root cos theta divide by uh, root sin theta d theta or I can rewrite one more step 0 to pi by 2 sin theta to the power of 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 into cos theta to the power of 1 by 2 into d theta. Now we know the standard result using that your p is 1 by minus 1 by 2 and in place of q we have 1 by 2. Now apply the result of course I should have 2 here if I do not have 2 then divide by 2 1 by 2 times of beta p plus 1 by 2 comma q plus 1 by 2 where what is p? p is minus 1 by 2 and q is 1 by 2. Now simplify this 1 by 2 times of beta minus 1 by 2 plus 1 it will be 1 by 2 1 by 2 by 2 is 1 by 4 comma 1 by 2 plus 1 is yes 3 by 2 3 by 2 by 2 will be 3 by 4. Now apply the relation between beta and gamma that is gamma m 1 by 4 into gamma n is nothing but 3 by 4 by gamma n m plus n 3 by 4 plus 1 by 4. So that is 1 by 2 times of we know the standard result of this right this one. So that is pi into root 2 pi into root 2 divide by this will reduce to 3 plus 1 by 4 that is 4 by 4 1 gamma 1 is 1. So the required result is pi by root 2. So that's the 2 can be rewrite as a root 2 into root 2 one time get cancelled pi by root 2 is our required result. So the next one is evaluate. integral 0 to 1 x power 3 by 2 into 1 minus x whole power 1 by 2 dx. So now whenever x and 1 minus x and if the limit is 0 to 1 then definitely that should be in terms of beta right we know the standard definition of beta that is what is that yes we know that beta m comma n is integral 0 to 1 x power m minus 1 into 1 minus x power n minus 1 into dx. So if I compare with this how to identify what is m and n right. So in place of m minus uh, n m minus 1 we have 3 by 2 and in place of n minus 1 we have 1 by 2. 
so that m equal to 5 by 2 3 by 2 plus 1 will be 5 by 2 and n is 3 by 1 by 2 plus 1 will be 3 by 2 therefore integral 0 to 1 x power 3 by 2 into 1 minus x power 1 by 2 dx is nothing but beta m comma n where what is m and n beta 5 by 2 comma 3 by 2 so now we know the relation between beta and gamma so using that we can reduce one more step that is gamma 5 by 2 into gamma 3 by 2 by gamma 5 by 2 plus 3 by 2 which is nothing bad now we know the standard gamma relation that is whenever we have fraction like this I can expand that like this uh, 3 by 2 into 1 by 2 into gamma 1 by 2 is the first part into gamma 3 by 2 is nothing but 1 by 2 into gamma 1 by 2 whole divide by 5 plus 3 8 by 2 is nothing but gamma 4. So now simplify the next step that is 3 into gamma half is uh, root pi root pi into root pi will be pi into 3 divide by 2 2 2 2 so we have 1 2 3 times so 2 to the power of 3 that is nothing but 2 cube into gamma 4 gamma n plus 1 is n factorial so gamma 4 is 3 factorial so in 3 factorial I can cancel 3 so that we left with uh, 2 here in 3 factorial so 2 power 3 into 2 will be 2 power 4 2 power 4 is 16 so the answer is pi by 16 so the next problem evaluate integral 4 minus x square whole power 3 by 2 into dx between the limit 0 to 2 so whenever we have some number 1 minus x or a minus x form definitely we should reduce that first in terms of beta so here instead of 1 minus x i have 4 minus x square so we should replace that so substitute for what consider the given problem integral 0 to 2 4 minus x square whole power 3 by 2 dx so this limit should be 1 but we have 2 so if we have 2 then put x equal to in terms of trigonometric function either sin or cos so I substitute x equal to 2 sin theta so that if I substitute here in place of x square I will get 4 sin square theta so that I can take out 4 common I left with 1 minus sin square 1 minus sin square will be cos square so in that way we should substitute so if you have 2 in this place then you will have 4 so that you have to consider x as a 2 times of sin theta now get dx dx is 2 times of cos theta do d theta and change the limits of uh, x to theta if x is 0 theta is 0 sin inverse of 0 is 0 if x is 2 sin inverse of x by 2 1 sin inverse of 1 will be pi by 2 right now replace your x and uh, dx in terms of theta and also of course change the limit 0 to pi by 2 4 minus 4 sin square theta whole power 3 by 2 into dx is 2 cos theta d theta or I can take out 2 common and also 4 whole power 3 by 2 common 2 into 4 to the power of 3 by 2 integral 0 to pi by 2 so this remains with 1 minus sin square is nothing but cos square theta whole to the power of 3 by 2 into cos theta into d theta or 2 to the power of I can write 4 as a 2 square so that 2 get cancelled I left with uh, 2 cube integral 0 to pi by 2 here square and the square root get cancelled I left with cos theta to the power of 3 into cos theta is nothing but cos theta to the power of 4 d theta so now I can compare with the standard formula so I keep this two as it is so here p is equal to 0 and uh, cube equal to 4 right so 2 cube is 8 
and 2 times of these two will be beta p plus 1 by 2 that is 0 plus 1 by 2 comma q plus 1 by 2 is nothing but 8 times of beta 1 by 2 comma 5 by 2. So, represent your beta in terms of gamma so that I can get the finite result 8 into gamma 1 by 2 into gamma 5 by 2 by gamma 1 by 2 plus 5 by 2 is nothing but 8 into root pi into 3 by 2 into 1 by 2 into again gamma half will be root pi divide by 6 by 2 is nothing but gamma 3. <coughs> so, we have 8 into pi into 3 by 4 into gamma 3 is nothing but 2 factorial. So, if I cancel with a 2 factorial means 2. So, we have 4 to the 8, 8 get cancelled. The required result is 3 pi. So, one more and uh, next problem is evaluate. integral of dx by 1 plus x to the power of 4 between the limit 0 to infinity. So, let me explain the difference between these two problems. So, again here we have integral 0 to infinity dx by 1 plus x power 4. So, first we should express that in terms of beta. Okay. Whenever we have in terms of x definitely that will reduce to beta function which is a trigonometric form. Okay. So, if you have 1 plus x whole power any number then you should consider your x in terms of tan depending on the power whether it is tan square or whatever. Okay. So, whenever we have 1 plus x, x should be represent in terms of tan. Whenever we have in uh, 1 minus x form, x should be either sin or a cos theta. Okay. So, in this problem substitute so, consider the given integral dx by 1 plus x power 4. So, we are going to substitute x to the power of 4 equal to tan square theta. So, I consider x power 4 as tan square or what is our x? x equal to tan square theta whole to the power of 1 by 4. Okay, let me get x. x is equal to tan theta to the power of 1 by 2. Now, get your dx that is dx equal to 1 by 2 into tan theta to the power of 1 by 2 minus 1 because x power n derivative n into x power n minus 1, right? So, tan theta whole power 1 by 2 derivative 1 by 2 into tan theta whole power 1 by 2 minus 1 will be minus 1 by 2 into tan derivative second square into d theta and if x is 0, of course, theta is 0. If x is infinity, theta will be pi by 4, pi by 2. Right? We know that tan 90 is infinity. So, replace the values that is integral 0 to pi by 2. dx is 1 by 2 times of tan theta to the power of uh, minus 1 by 2 into second square theta d theta whole divide by 1 plus tan square theta. So, we know the standard trigonometric formula that is 1 plus tan square theta is nothing but second square theta. So, I can cancel that. We left with 1 by 2 times of integral 0 to pi by 2. Tan theta can be replaced in terms of sin and cos. So, that sin theta whole to the power of minus 1 by 2 by cos theta to the power of minus 1 by 2. If I consider that to the numerator, then the power will be positive that is cos theta to the power of plus 1 by 2 d theta, yes. Now, we reduce the given function or given integral in terms of a trigonometric function so that I can compare with the beta function. So, here it is a p equal to minus 1 by 2 and q is 1 by 2. So, 1 by 2 into 2 times of I do not have multiple 2, so I might consider 2 times of beta minus 1 by 2 plus 1 whole divide by 2 comma 1 by 2 plus 1 whole divide by 2. So, 2 to get cancel, we left with beta is nothing but beta 
वन बै टू बै टू वन बै फोर कम थ्री बै फोर सो बीटा वन बै फोर कम थ्री बै फोर इज गाम वन बै फोर इंटू गाम थ्री बै फोर बै गाम वन बै फोर प्लस थ्री बै फोर सो वि नो यूसिंग स्टाडर्ड रिसल्ट गाम वन बै फोर इंटू गाम थ्री बै फोर इज पै इंटू रूट हूल डिवैड बै गाम फोर बै फोर इज नथिंग बट वन गाम वन इज वन सो द रिक्वर्ड रिसल्ट इज पै रूट टू so try to solve the remaining problems either in terms of beta form or in terms of gamma okay so that completes our module 3 which is a integral calculus which includes a multiple integral and a special function beta and gamma function thank you